All right, guys, so what you got here is my Lunt 40 millimeter hydrogen alpha solar telescope. And it rides, I've been using it predominantly on my AZ8. It's a last man, the out as dual um, saddle setup. Really nice. And, um, but what I wanted to do <clears throat> is when you're observing, I wanted something to create a shade over my head because when you're setting up or getting the acquiring the sun <coughs> and focusing you you cup your hands around your eyes but invariably you're always going to get the sun it's going to be you, you got to try to block the sun you got to use one hand to focus the other hand to help block the sun and i thought i wanted to have a simple way and a very light weight setup to cause a shade so that when I'm doing all this it's so much easier to do and I don't have the distraction of the Sun getting in my eyes so let's examine what we had to work with this is the astrophysics Dove 10 saddles got them on both sides and when thinking about doing this I wanted something that actually worked off of this knob the other thing was Again, lightweight, very easy to put on, easy to take off, easy to store in the same um, Pelican case that I have this. And so the first thing that came to mind was cutting board material. So I've got these cutting boards by Joseph, got them at Myers, roughly nine and a half by 13 and a half inches in size. And they are approximately 1 16th of an inch thick. And they're flexible, but yet they're still durable, or as far as um, being flexible, but still rigid enough to maintain when you put it at different angles. The next thing I thought of was this material that I had. It's aluminum angle, 16th of an inch thick, inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. And I had this for, I had a bunch of these for a project. This was one extra piece left over. I, I made my own nosing for stair tread. That went to my stairs to the ad to my attic at my home and so this being a sixteenth of an inch extremely light more than rigid enough for what i needed for this project now <clears throat> i did a lot of measuring because i wanted to make sure that when i put this uh, piece on i did cut the aluminum the same width as the cutting board but i needed to know where to place it <clears throat> and so in this particular case I wanted to make sure that as I move this, being that it's attached here, it would not interfere. So I made my measurement. This is a quarter inch diameter stud that this rides on. <clears throat> so I drilled that quarter inch. So there you see the hole. <clears throat> quarter inch, that's going to go into the stud of the handle on that saddle, that locking knob. Next. I just picked an arbitrary number, <clears throat> two inches in from each side, and the distance up, I wanted to make sure that <clears throat> when I got done, I could use these 3 16th oversized washers. <clears throat> so I drilled and located those two holes. Now I used 1024, which is 3 16th diameter, a stainless steel button heads, and then, as I said, 3 16 oversized washer just to give a little more stability around here and then a 1024 nylock nut now as I stated <clears throat> this was kind of important to make sure you got it located properly because you also need to make sure that that locking knob isn't over here too far where it interferes <clears throat> with this other side of the angle so this was not so much <clears throat> Once I drilled these two 3 16 holes, then to locate this, very simple. Basically took a 2x4 and tipped this over on the edge of the 2x4, pushed this all the way down, got it the same distance on both sides, pressed down on it, took my drill and drilled through these two holes, which in fact then drilled this. Now you got it located real simple so even if these holes aren't perfect if you didn't get them right you know 
exact the same distance up and down and over doesn't matter because you're matching this to the aluminum piece <clears throat> and then like I said then I went ahead and bolted it so it's real simple this isn't something that <clears throat> most people could do I mean most people could do this very simple no special tools involved now one thing I would recommend when you cut that angle <clears throat> I used a power miter box if you don't have one see if a family member or a friend has one because you really <clears throat> do want to cut this square a hacksaw you're probably going is going to hack it so um, I highly recommend you use something like this once you measure the length you need this will do a much better job and I've got a metal cutting aluminum metal cutting blade in here specifically for the project now you will need some kind of a ruler I use this real small square uh, they're very handy for small stock like that <clears throat> for marking with a pencil your locations of course a drill it can be electric it can be a battery operated doesn't matter and then you want to have a fine file because everything I did was just with a file so let's go ahead and put that on and the beauty like I said of using one of these knobs is you've got a ready-made anchor point no holes need to be drilled in the saddle um, very simple setup oh one thing I did have to do with this now you depending on your brand and everything there was a little bit of grease on here I took mineral spirits wiped it all off took all the components out wiped it all down then uh, <clears throat> then I took them into the house and used D uh, Dawn dish soap to make sure they were all clean and then used compressed air to dry it all off. So now what we're going to do, using that stud, obviously, we'll put this on. We're going to use the same brass washer that was supplied by Astrophysics because we're just going to let this, <clears throat> this piece here that pushes down, that gives the uh, clamping force on the dovetails, um, we're going to use that as the base because it's wide enough. That's what it's going to rest on. And we simply kind of eye this up 90 degrees here. And we got to we got to tighten it. So now that looks pretty good right there. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I just got this little thing I made up just like that. How much simpler can that be? And it works. So how cool is this? It met my requirements. Extremely lightweight. Easy to put together. And easy to take apart. And yet it works. And if you look over here you're just about centered on this telescope tube and as I swing this if the altitude of the Sun is up high like this which it is here in the summer you can see that it clearly misses the slow motion control So that was important. Extremely happy with this. Now when you place your head here, this blocks all that bright sun. And you may have to cup your hand around for some extenu a light around you, but you can concentrate on focusing and looking at the object, the sun, without a whole lot of effort. All right, guys. So. Some of you might say, well, gee, I don't have a setup like this. I've got a equatorial. So let's think of this. Let's bring this up to where this is on top, like this. Okay, and, and, and this is on your um, uh, duck axis. So what you would do is I could even accommodate this, just rework it. I can still use this piece, but what I would do is I'd come off this with another one of these and just have a 90 that goes from here to this piece 
So now you're just like this and you want to make sure it's high enough so that you can get the sun through this sight uh, tube there. And now in an equatorial mount, as you move this around the mount, this will stay with the telescope and follow it. So it's real simple. Um, and again, very little uh, tools that you need. Something that you can do without a lot of effort.